Smith. Hey y'all, welcome back to Mark III Firearms. Today, we're checking out beaver tails and the two options that uh, we offer. Up front, the version one, previously reviewed, and new to the family, our version two. Really sexy, that one with that curve. Matt did both of these here and they turned out amazing, as to be expected. Now, the version one, really clean lines, sharper angles, and if you theme it with a factory trigger that we flatten out, you get the curves that match and of course the flats, so pretty awesome. If you're curious about this pistol, it is previously reviewed. And actually, by the time this video releases, this one will be reviewed as well, so check them both out. On the version 2 beaver tail, very reminiscent of a 1911 style, and that curve plays perfect with the reprofiled Garthwaite trigger up here. Just super sexy round lines, and they both, they both are crowd pleasers, <laughs> let's be honest. I still can't decide which one I'm going to go with. Anyways, as far as the, the form and function, if you're going to go with any sort of commander hammer or uh, modified spur hammer, when you pull back the hammer and it's engaged, if you have any sort of height back here, you're going to have to run this style of beaver tail. Um, just because, I'll show you. When engaged, that's how low they come. And when the slide actually moves back and engages the hammer, it's going to depress it, um, basically almost touching the beaver tail. So that's how high it has to be. To function. That's why you'll see some of these guys who do these big diving board, you know, beaver tails off the back of high powers. Uh, it has to be lower. Or you'll see some guys who do more of the curve style, but they'll actually sweep down lower, which negates the purpose of a beaver tail, really. I mean, I guess it doesn't bite you, but, you know, you're getting a lower grip on the gun, which is, which is not ideal. <laughs> and then, of course, if you want to run this style of beaver tail, you're going to have to run a completely bobbed hammer like this, or a very modified spur hammer, probably. Uh, Commander's not going to work for you. Still, there are options. Let me go ahead and rack this guy back for you real quick. Just see what the hammer looks like. And there we go. The cool thing is, is, is if you have us bob your hammer uh, with this beaver tail, it's just, it completely folds and eclipses in the back of the slide, as you'll see here in a second. Look at that, presto changeo. <laughs> it is awesome. I love that profile. Definitely something special. But yeah, guys, there you go. You know, a little bit of time in the works to create both of these, but they're finally done, and now we have a new weapon in our arsenal when it comes to the high powers. They're both beautiful, though. Go ahead and flip them around to the other side, let you check out a different view of the pistol, or pistols. Now if you all have any questions, comments, or concerns about these, as you know, leave them and we'll answer accordingly. These two pistols, they show so well. And these are, uh, by the way, both Mark IIs. So, even better. Anyways, y'all. Until next time.